Record low GPU pricing is here. NVIDIA's uh, malware, oop, oopsie doodles, and AMD fixing an issue that's been plaguing them for a long time. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're gonna be going on over the hottest tech news that I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast. And let's go ahead and talk about more reports of GPU prices dropping. We talked about this last week, but there's more data coming out, especially in the EU sector, as well as in the United States sector, about how GPU prices are at a record low, the lowest levels that we've seen since before January 2021. Basing this on the average sale price at major German retailers, you can see where the pricing was over MSRP. In January of 2021, Nvidia started at 134% and AMD started at 142%, peaking at 318% above MSRP for Nvidia and 216 for AMD. Go over to now and we can see that AMD is at 135% and Nvidia is at 141. So that means that AMD is cheaper than it ever was before. Nvidia is still a couple percentage points, 7% higher than it was previously, but we are seeing GPU prices going down overall. The majority of graphics cards, whether it's Nvidia or AMD, are seeing price declines. The 3050 is down 20 percentage points. The 6500 XT is down nine percentage points. The 6800 is down 10. The 3090 is down 13. All around, we're seeing price dropping, whether it's in the US, whether it's in Europe, GPU prices do appear to be on the decline. And I've seen the arguments popping up in the comments where people are telling me, well, it's not happening at retailers, so therefore it's not happening. That's because a lot of retailers are either selling at an MSRP, they're trying to make more profit because the street price is higher. But if the street price is dropping, we will likely see the price drop at retailers sometime soon. That's a lagging indicator rather than an actual good indicator of the open market pricing. So I'm glad to see this, seeing it coming down month on month does mean that you likely will be able to get your hands on a GPU for the price you wanted just in time for them to launch a brand new series of graphics cards. RTX 40 series allegedly coming in September. So, you know, you just had to wait until it was obsolete. You're welcome. But you want to know what's another good indicator of GPU prices potentially dropping? Crypto stocks. Let's get into it. Bitcoin down 3.7% on the day to be at 37,618. Ethereum down a rough 6% to be at under 2,500 dollars for the first time in a long time. Dogecoin also down 5% to be at 11 and a half cents. And these aren't even the steepest decline they had. They were at a little lower earlier in the day, but crypto not necessarily holding up, especially as things are happening with Russia and exchanges starting to decide that they're going to be blocking Russian assets that are happening there. And that going against what a lot of people believe in crypto for, which is the decentralization, but exchanges trying to get involved in that somehow. It's creating a lot of tension and uncertainty in the crypto world. But Valve's looking to undo some uncertainty when it comes to the release date of the Steam Deck. They announcing that they're giving you more specificity when it regards to whether or not you're going to get your Steam Deck in Q1, Q2, or even Q3. And your boy, Q3, gosh dang it. Why does Valve hate me? I'll give them more of my money. Listen, the street price of this thing on, on friggin' eBay is like two grand. I, I would gladly pay a thousand dollars for this bad boy. Valve, I'll give you more money, okay? I'll, I'll, do, I'll do things that I won't even talk about here. Please just get me a Steam Deck, Valve, please. Please, but speaking of delays, Squeenix is delaying for Spoken, not coming out in May like initially planned, but rather October 11th is the delayed date in case you were looking forward to that game. It's gonna be a little while longer, so they're gonna bake that oven in the pie just a little bit further, which is what Google's been doing with Chrome. They're saying now it's faster than Safari on most of the devices that you have. You have a MacBook Pro, Chrome's faster now than Safari, 7% faster. It scored a speed record of 300 in Apple's web Kick. It's super fast. They're saying that it is now 43% faster than it was in late 2020. A year and a half has gone by. Chrome's now the fastest operating system. That was a glass. I'm hitting this table a little too feistily today. But also Google trying to make Android a little bit faster for fatter tablet things that are out there, also known as like foldables. I guess that's what we're calling them right now. Android 12L was supposed to be coming out sometime soon and it's here. It came out in a couple previews, a couple betas, 12.1, having Android 12L there in case you want that for your foldable devices. But I can tell you what you don't want. You don't want malware, okay? You don't want hackers sneaking into your PC, digging around, finding those little knockoff copies of Club Penguin that you got downloaded on your computer. But now 
with Nvidia's hack that we talked about last week and in yesterday's episode of Hot News, we talked about the fact Nvidia's driver certifications are out there in a way that they shouldn't be, even though they are expired. That is now leading to actual malware out in the open with several malware developers implementing this use case where the driver signification is making it so it looks like, hey, this is a thing you can trust and install on your computer. And then it gets installed on your computer. And it was malware. You got mailed. So number one, you're your best antivirus. Don't go clicking on shady links. It's pretty easy to not get malware these days. But in case somehow NVIDIA's drivers are getting installed on your system, maybe switch to AMD for the time being. I think that's the solution. Hey, you have an a NVIDIA card, right? Yeah. You're going to get hacked. Switch to AMD. Never. Don't I employ you? <laughs> Be careful out there, friends. And AMD's being careful to not really talk about an issue that's been plaguing a lot of their CPU users for a while, which is some FTPM stuttering that's been going on, where people have noticed if they turn FTPM on, it would actually cause lag on their system between one and two seconds, not making it a good experience overall and happening in a variety of workflows. But it does appear like AMD is finally doing something about it. The reason that this is partially a big deal is because FTPM is kind of required in case you want to install Windows 11 because you have to have TPM turned on in order to install that operating system. But with the lag stuff going on, it now looks like a BIOS update is getting pushed out to motherboard manufacturers for you to actually be able to experience some smoothness on your PC in case you've been desiring that. They're expecting that the BIOS should start shipping out to customers in May of 2022. Previously, the workaround was that you should use a hardware TPM. They wanted you to spend money on a hardware TPM key instead of using the one that's baked into the BIOS and CPU support. So that's Thank you, AMD, for finally doing something about that made it not a good choice for you to be in my system. And I'm, I'm not going to be in your ears any longer or your eyes. I, it's going to be I'm going to leave. Hot news tomorrow.